Hey, welcome back. The Wizard Colorado here with another dice tutorial. Tonight, we're drawing a D12. First thing I want to do is draw a sketch. And from there, I pick the plane and I'm going to create a rectangle, a center point rectangle. And I'm, I'm drawing in millimeters, so I'm going to do 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. We'll finish that sketch. We're going to draw another sketch of the same plane as we drew that rectangle in. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. So the same plane, I drew that one in. And then we want another rectangle, a center point rectangle. And now the dimensions for the long side are gonna be 16.18 by 6.18. And these are gonna be the, the dimensions for the next two rectangles. So basically we just need to draw a square and then three rectangles to draw a D D12 here. So we'll finish that sketch. Come in and make another sketch. Well, pick the one that's kind of going the opposite way of this rectangle. So I'm gonna click the blue, the blue line here. We're gonna draw another rectangle, a center point rectangle. And we want it to be 16.18 for the long side and 6.18 for the short side. Finish that sketch. And we're gonna draw one more on the plane we haven't drawn. So right here, and we want one more center point rectangle. And this one is going to be 6.18 for the short side and 16.18 for the long side. And there we go. We'll finish that up a little bit. Now we've got our three rectangles and the cube. And like asking me, how is this gonna draw a D12? Just, just watch it. It's real easy. Once we got these laid out, I'm going to come into my sketches. I'm going to turn off these three sketches. I'm going to extrude our cube or our square into a cube. So I want to do this symmetrically and it's going to be five millimeters. There we go. Come back and turn our three sketches back on. And now we want to draw another sketch. It doesn't matter which one you select on. I'm drawing in 3D so it doesn't snap to the face. So I'm just going to click right there. Okay. And then I'm going to do lines now. All right, and the process of this is basically we're going to take a line from one of these short sides, then we're going to attach it down to the cube here. And then we're going to do, do it to the another rectangle there, back to the cube, back to that starting point. So now we got our first pentagon. And we, Keep on doing that, so we down to the cube, to the edge, back to the cube, back to here. Now we got two of them. So once we got that, we'll draw another short side, the cube. Since we already have these two drawn, we don't have to do another one, so we'll come back, draw a line from here to there. We'll spin that around. And from here, let's click this one to the cube to this rectangle, back to the cube, back to the rectangle. Spin it around. Let's see, we need this one. So we'll draw a line from here to the rectangle. If you need to, rotate it around until you see it. And then to that cube point. So now we got another one. All right. So from here to here, the cube back to the rectangle. Let's see, from this one, from there to the edge of the rectangle, back to this cube, back to that rectangle. So just make sure you're rotating around, kind of see where you're drawing. So now we need this one, back, there we go. And it looks like we need one point right here. And we need this one from that rectangle to the cube. I think we're almost done. This is the last, last one here. So we need to just finish off this long side. I think, I think that's all of them. To see it a little bit easier, you can come into your bodies and turn off this body. Just so look around, make sure we got everything. It looks like it. So I'll finish that sketch. I'm gonna come in here and hide our first three sketches. 
or the second set of three here. We'll leave sketch five on, because that's our B12 shape we want. Now what we're gonna do is come into surface and we're gonna cl uh, click on patch. And you just wanna select the five sides of one of the pentagons here. And we'll make sure chain or group edges is turned off. If not, it'll it'll chain edges together that don't make the right shape. It's it's frustrating. So just make sure that's turned off. Click OK. Now we turn the sketch five back on. So now we just want to keep coming around. So we got one body. We need twelve of them. So patch. And you select our five sides. Once you got that, enter. Then. Repeat the patch. You need to rotate a little bit. Make sure you select the right five. Enter. Make another patch. Just keep on working your way around. Eventually, you'll have all these done. It takes, you know, it takes a couple minutes. It's not as easy as the D20. It does not like to select the the, the flat face of the D12. So you gotta manually select all the edges. So we're keep on repeating this patch. Enter. I think we got, got half of it done, so we'll rotate it to the other side. Repeat patch. Select five uh, sides here. Oops, see now I selected the wrong one. Well, if you hold down shift, you can deselect. Come back in and select the right ones. There we go. And just keep on rotating around. Repeat patch. You know, you gotta select 60 sides when you're done. It's a, it's a, or 60 lines. It's a little tedious, but it's well worth it. Repeat the patch. There we go. Just rotate a little bit here. Repeat the patch. You know, just, you know, if you need to rotate it so you can see it better. I've been, I've been drawing dice for quite a while, so it's a little bit easier for me to see it. There. I think we need one more. Should have body 13 by the time we're done. So this should be the last one. Repeat patch and we'll select these five sides. And like that, we're done. So we can turn off sketch number five now. So now when we look around there, it's looking like a D12 but this is not a solid object to make it a solid object we want to come in here and stitch we will select all these make sure it selects all 13 or 2 through 13 body and we'll click ok and there we go that's it we've drawn the d12 very simple once you learn you know how to draw the three rectangles and the cube i mean it's so easy to put together like I was very intimidated with the D20 and the D12, but once you learn how to use it, math and geometry, they come together so easy. But there we go. We've got our D12. We're gonna try to get more videos out and you know, how to put numbers on the dice. The rest of the polyhedral dice, you know, well, the D10's not polyhedral, but you know, get the rest of the dice the D4, D6, D8, fairly simple. So I'll probably lump those into one video and the D10 will be the next one. So it's a little bit different. It's not a true polyhedral dice. So, but also pretty simple once you learn how to throw it together. So thanks for watching and until next time.